Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry I cannot be here, be here with you today, but uh, you are in really good hands with the director of the museum, Felix, who would introduce my work uh, greatly. But just for you to know a little bit about me, uh, my name is Laia Rila. I'm an artist from Barcelona. I work in photography, but also I do installations, and I mostly work uh, around the topics of women's rights, and I've been doing it for almost 15 years. So my project the project started on abortion as part of a larger body of work called A History of Misogyny. And as its research base, I started working in 2014, doing all the research that, that entails. And the project has many chapters on abortion is the first one. But of course, the research started as with a big question mark to understand what I wanted to do. I've been working before in topics related to womenhood, to gender, to sexuality, to eating disorders. And I come from journalism, although now I work as an artist. But at that time, I wanted to spread the word about these issues in a in a setter with you know communication media magazines and the reaction always was very similar they would tell me that those were not hard news that maybe i should contact women magazines that they were not relevant topics at the moment and i always will find this wall that i could not really talk or document or photograph topics that i really thought were very important to talk about it so it was in 2013 that actually I'm from Barcelona and in Spain, there was this proposal to make the law of, of abortion more restricted in Spain. Um, the right-wing uh, party, which is often tried to do these kind of measures, was uh, announcing this proposal of law. And it was the first time for me, because I come from a quite privileged country in terms of abortion law, that I realized that my rights were in, in danger. And that was a click. So that's how it was born, this first uh, idea of working on uh, around abortion. And it was a, a, a whole process of understanding the laws and, and the situation around the world. So during this research, I encounter a number that was me was really, really important, which is the fact that more than 47,000 women die every year because not having access to abortion. And of course, if we look back historically, that could make sense in terms of technology or lack of access to technology. But that was 2014 and it really didn't make any sense to me. So these two elements uh, trigger, as I said, this need to think and, and go further and research further about this topic. And that's how um, the project was born. I decided I was going to visualize the repercussions of not having access to abortion in the world. Something that actually is quite invisible and we, we talk about photography or visual art is a quite hard uh, endeavor that I took upon. So that's why probably one of the reasons that this exhibition is a, a complex conceptual map of many media and many elements that help us to understand this problematic all over the world. As I said, it's a history of misogyny. So I took upon the beginning and origin of contraception, contraception uh, history and the first illegal abortions around the world. You can see that when you enter in the exhibition, it has this first historical introduction Introduction to you, and really re uh, early on, you will start to understand that, of course, these problematics are still happening, and that that's pre pretty much the whole approach of the exhibition. Having this doubt about the fact that this is not possible, but it's still happening now, now, nowadays. So the repercussions of not having access to abortion, as I said, of course, uh, involves uh, this death of more than forty-seven thousand women every year, but they also vary in many different uh, aspects. And, and consequences. Uh, in the exhibition, there is one specific series which is called the Photo Novels, in which I document the journeys of women all over the world who try to have abortions and they couldn't because of the countries where I'm from is illegal, or they did actually have illegal abortions and they brought uh, them many different consequences. Some of them end up in jail. Some of them uh, were forced to be mothers. Some of them have physical and psychological repercussions and some of them end up dead. So 
The exhibition actually started in Vienna. So for me, it's really special that this is happening and that I'm here with you today. The exhibition is there. I started photographing the objects uh, of the first historical contraceptions and the first uh, illegal abortions that I encountered in the Museum of Abortion and Contraception in Vienna, which is run by Christian Fiala. So it's a very beautiful sort of like circle because we have been itinerating since 2016. The exhibition, it was the first time in all at the Rencontre d'Al, this very big festival around photography. But since now, since then, for me, it was really important that the exhibition will get to places where first the access of abortion was restricted. So we have the exhibition in Ireland during the referendum. We have the exhibition in Mexico when it was still illegal. We have the exhibition in Slovenia, in Croatia, in many places where it was restricted, even in the States uh, during Trump's um when Trump was still uh, president in the United States. So having this show itinerating for all these years in all these places is for me as important as making the show. Um, having feedback from the public, having this sort of uh, sort of interventions or these opportunities to have this conversation is as important or is part of the work. Because unfortunately, as uh, we were seeing coming when I was finishing the production of the project in 2015, 2016, the situation has come actually worse in some places. We have the, uh, the example in the States. And the point of it, which is basically the point of the exhibition, is that all these rights are really, really delicate. And we have to, even in countries like Spain or countries in, in, in where, where the situation seems to be okay, we really need to take care of them. We really need to be alert. We really need to, to also be very... Um, aware of the repercussions of what we do politically, internationally in other countries. And that's why, unfortunately, unfortunately, at the same time, the exhibition is timeless. Uh, so it's a privilege and, and a pleasure that is today here in, in Vienna. And hopefully um, it's going to continue going around the globe, uh, bringing some awareness to the topic.